Joy, joy, my brothers and sisters. I, I thank God for each of you and your faithfulness to this period of prayer for unity, healing, and hope. I'm Reverend McAllister, and I'll be leading prayer on day four of hope. This morning's devotional is found in the Old Testament text of Exodus. Exodus 14. The focal voice verse for our thought and meditation is Exodus 14, verse 14. From the NIV, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Again, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. This is the word of God. Exodus 14 records Israelites released from 400 years of bondage in Egypt. Pharaoh has agreed to set the Israelites free only to have him change his mind. Pharaoh and his army pursue them to the Red Sea. Terrified and in fear, the Israelites cry out to the Lord. Moses answered the people and said, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring today. Moses was delivering yet again a message of hope. As you know, the Israelites were able to cross the Red Sea under the protection and under, under the glory of the Lord, and Pharaoh and his mighty army were defeated. When in need, the people cried out to God for help. Our focal verse tells us the Lord will fight for you. This is important and necessary in this journey we call life. In life, we face trials and tribulations. There are times when it feels that trouble has surrounded us on every side and there is no escape. We may feel overwhelmed by forces that oppose us. Sometimes we feel as though it may be better to go back when we should be moving forward. The uncertainty and unfamiliarity of what lies ahead can cause doubt and apprehension. However, my beloved, in the midst of what may seem like overwhelming odds and when things challenge us, we need to hold fast to our faith because our faith is grounded in hope. Hope in a God that remains faithful to us. Our hope is a living hope that is anchored in God who is always in control. A God that will never leave us or forsake us. Moses reminds us that we need to stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will bring. Paul writes in Romans 12 and 12, be joyful, be joyful in hope. Patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. My brothers and my sisters, we are gathered here today in prayer because we have hope. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, we, we praise your name. We thank you for another sunset and another sunrise, another day to worship you and thank you for your many blessings. We are blessed to be created in your image. In you, we have our being. You are the air we breathe, the spirit and air that sustains us and gives us life. God, we must confess our sins and our transgressions to you and those around us. Forgive us this day and, and have mercy on us. Father and God Almighty, hear our prayer. We, we pray for, for unity. We, we pray for healing. We pray for understanding. We pray for patience. We pray for wisdom. We pray for obedience. We pray for grace. We pray that you order our steps. We pray for courage and strength. We pray to move closer to you and each other. We pray for divine guidance. We pray that you align our heart, mind, and will. And this morning, we pray and thank you for the joy of hope. Lord, we can find peace and insurance and hope because of your goodness. We love you because your mercy never fails. We love you because you first loved us and you promised never to leave us or forsake us. Because of who you are, we can have hope. We praise you for your glory, the glory that leads us and delivers us. We rejoice in the living hope that is manifested through your son, Jesus. It is a hope that can't be defeated. Teach us and help us to be still in this hope because you are on our side. This is our prayer this morning. It is in the master's name, which is above every name, we pray. And the people of God said, amen.